Hello and welcome once again to my channel. In this video you will learn 4 different time saving techniques to speed up your digital painting process. Plus a few extra digital painting tips. Does it sound interesting? Of course! But first, Lando Norris is a Belgian British F1 driver who races for the McLaren F1 racing team. Lando was born in November 13, 1999 in Bristol, UK. If you didn't know, I love F1. He's an amazing young driver who has the speed and the courage to become a future F1 champion. He started his F1 career in 2019. Hey dude! What? I'm recording a YouTube video. This is not an F1 channel. Nobody came here to hear about this guy. But he's the reason for this video. The reason for this video is to paint. Paint now! Okay, let's go. The first thing to do is coloring. I'll block the shape by creating basic silhouettes. Color the edges and use the paint bucket tool to fill the area inside. Once you have this, you can block the transparency and color details inside in the same way. I try to use the main color of the object to create my transparency. If you have a decent outline, which I don't, you can duplicate these lines, fill in the gaps to select the outside of your shape, and then invert to have a perfect silhouette. You only need to use your paint bucket tool, which in the case of Procreate, all you have to do is to slide the color from the top right corner of the screen. This is the basic process I use to start most of my paintings. This is normally a time consuming part of the process, but it will save time later. Over this, I can apply color variation, which will add interest to the picture. Then, I can do my initial shading. In this video, I will show you two different ways to approach this part of the process. One by painting over, and the other one by erasing. The main idea in this stage is to start defining the basic shapes and planes but also to start defining the different hues for the local color, light and shades. Lando started his F1 career in 2019 having a very good rookie season. The second time saving technique is duplicate, darken and erase. The second way to create your initial shading is to use your color picture as your base. You will duplicate it. In Procreate you do so by sliding to the left and hit duplicate. You will increase the saturation and reduce the brightness to have a darker version of your image. This is the same result you get if you select your color and slide it diagonally right and down. To increase saturation I also move the color towards red. The darker image on top will be the shade colors, so you will erase the areas where the light should hit the object. This reveals the lighter color underneath. This is a very simple but very effective technique. After this, you can color on top or use some color picking techniques that we will mention later in depth. This technique is especially useful when you have multiple colors close together. In a traditional painting, you should create a darker version of your color and carefully paint on the area, but in this technique, you only erase once to create the gradients for all the different colors.
By 2020 he was surprising everyone in the paddock. This season he got his first podium. 2021 started very strong for Lando and his team, fighting very closely to the championship leaders. This has been his best season so far, with 4 podiums, a 1 to finish for his team, and almost his first win that was denied by Rain in the last laps. Once your initial shading is ready, all or at least most of the necessary colors are already on the screen, on the canvas. So you don't need to mix all the colors over again. You pick one color and use it in other areas. This is also very useful to create gradients. You pick a hue in between two colors and colored in that area, repeating the process as many times as necessary. Because you're creating your own gradients, you get that painterly look that makes even little paintings look natural, as if they were painted with more traditional media. Using your software at its full includes using different adjustment options as part of your painting process. Some people may call this cheating, but you will actually put time and effort to make this an original part of your art piece. So do it. For the background, I use a random UK flag found on the internet. It was distorted using selection tool. There are multiple ways to create distortion as a good base for further painting, but I decided to go with glitch. This option breaks the picture into particles that I can complete and correct with my own brush strokes. Then I use blur options to give some movement to the picture.
To finish the picture, I added highlights in different areas to make it look shiny. Made sure everything was complete and added texture and reflected lights. This is my finished picture. I hope you like this picture, but especially I hope that you like the process and that you feel that you can apply it in your own digital painting process. Remember to like this video, to subscribe to the channel and to follow me in my social networks. Adios.